Under the Kisim Saven Living House Line program, young adults in Port Mosby are trained to assist people in their communities address issues affecting youths. This includes teenage pregnancies, how to access the right information for health services, and minimizing youth's involvement in crimes. The health programs consist of primary health care, TB control, STI, HIV, AIDS, and VCT services. Under our HIV and AIDS program, our target is the most at risk population, identified as key population. And that is MSM, men and sex men, TG, transgender, and our FSW, female sex workers and we employ sensitization and advocacy approaches to reach the key population. Josephine Kahola is the coordinator for the KSHH program. She explains that the program highlights also challenges faced by female sex workers and transgenders. The tip of HIV AIDS issue, by looking at treatment component only, but let's address the root cause by adapting practices such as Kissing Survey Helping Outline Project to help our key population to be self-reliant and refrain from sex work. Because sex work is the main contributing factor to increasing HIV prevalence in Papua New Guinea. U.S. Ambassador to PNG, Catherine Ebert Gray, who launched the second phase of the KSHH program, says the challenge is on assisting young people know their health status in the community. Here in Papua New Guinea, we continue to provide about seven million U.S. dollars every year, which is focused mostly here in the National Capital District, because as you heard from Dr. Dalla, the key populations here have the highest rates of infection. And that's where we must all continue to work together and to apply our focus, because that's where the highest risk is. So it's all about care. It's all about care, and that's why you're here, and that's why I'm proud that you have stepped up because your role is critical to connecting people to that care and continuing to give them the care they need to get through this. And they will, with your help, I have no doubt. Today, close to 20 participants were presented their certificates after completing the training. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.